Hello friends, Nancy Monturi here, also known as Ordinary Vegan. As promised, I am here today to follow up with all of you on my progress on the fasting mimicking diet. The reason I became interested in the FMD diet is because on my recent trip on the holistic holiday at sea, the fasting mimicking diet was brought up in lectures by a few of our leading plant-based doctors. And that definitely got me curious. If you missed the last video, a fasting mimicking diet lasts five days, 1,100 calories on day one and 800 calories on days two through five. There are several ways to do intermittent fasting, but I chose to use the fasting mimicking diet meal plan created by Walter Longo that was boxed individually by day mainly because the correct nutrients are a key to a healthy fasting mimicking diet and I knew I would get them in this meal plan. The individual boxes included plant-based whole foods like olives, tea, crackers, nut-based bars, and soup mixes with the composition of 80% plant-based unsaturated fat 10% protein, and 10% carbohydrates. Here is an example of one of those soups. It reminds me a little bit of a freeze-dry soup, but it, it is actually very tasty. The only thing that baffles me about this soup is the high sodium content, 800 milligrams per serving. I would love to ask the founder of this meal plan, Dr. Longo, about that. So when should you do it? A couple of the plant-based doctors recommend doing an 800 calorie fast five times during a month instead of five days in a row. But there is still a lot of peer-to-peer -peer discussion about this. So why do it? Because of the science. There are studies that have shown that a fasting mimicking diet can have profound effects on weight loss, blood sugar, blood cholesterol, and can regenerate cells, which can help fight chronic diseases like cancer. I don't recommend this for everyone, and you should always get a doctor's advice before trying a fasting mimicking diet. But I will say that this could be the wave of the future to help fight chronic illness. Today is day five and the final day of on the diet. And I must say, I feel fantastic. I have experienced increased energy, and to be honest, I was never hungry. I also slept well, which is the real miracle, and I weighed myself this morning and I lost 3.5 pounds in four days. My recommend recommendation to any of you who are interested in the fasting mimicking diet is to talk to your doctor and use the Prolon five-day dietary program so you make sure you get optimum nutrition. I am not promoting Prolon because they are an advertiser. I have no connection with them. It just seems like the safest way to go since the founder has been on the forefront of this diet. I will have a blood test on Monday and see if any improvements in cholesterol, blood pressure, uh, etc. And I promise to share all those results. I still don't know if a fasting mimicking diet is the way to go, but I will continue my research and share everything I know with you. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about plant-based nutrition, go to OrdinaryVegan.net for recipes, inspiration, and resources. And don't miss the Ordinary Vegan Podcast, plant-based guru, doctor, surgeon, researcher, and New York Times best-selling author, Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn Jr. joined me on this week's podcast and explains why and how heart disease can be eradicated. If you or anyone you love has heart disease or a history of heart disease, this podcast should not be missed. You can find it on my website, OrdinaryVegan.net, or in iTunes under Ordinary Vegan. 
If you need any help getting started on a plant-based diet, join my plant-based course, Healthy Eating and Living with Plants. It will empower you with all the knowledge you need to start and maintain a plant-based diet. Thanks for joining me on YouTube. My number one goal is to keep you as happy and as healthy as possible. Till next time.